General Berger, let me ask you the same, whether or not you feel this budget appropriately resources um, the, uh, the, the issues as they relate to our Marine Corps and the footprint in Alaska. It gives us the, uh, thanks for the question, ma'am. It gives us the resources we need to train there, yes. Uh, both in exercises that are regularly scheduled, like you mentioned, Arctic Edge being one of them, where we go up and frankly can train to a level we can't in, uh, inside the rest of the United States, both because of the airspace and the sea space. And the, and the, uh, and the force on force uh, opportunities that you have in Alaska that is really difficult to generate down here. And there's also the unit deployments that we do to Alaska, and I took my battalion to Alaska, because you can, you can build readiness there and get your, it's, it's a regular deployment. You can do things, again, that you can't do at home station. It does provide us, the, resource, the Marine Corps, the resources to do that right now. Okay, well, it, it is something that, again, we, we recognize that uh, this is a matter, this is an issue when it comes to Arctic and Arctic readiness that we're not there yet. I think we would all recognize across all the services we are not there yet. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned icebreakers, and I, I'm sure you know this, Mr. Secretary, that um, we're sitting here still at one and a half icebreakers on a good day. Compare that to Russia's 56. Uh, China uh, is moving forward. Even India is talking about building an icebreaker. So we are, we are well behind in, in the construction of of how we're going to facilitate our ice-breaking fleet. I have two questions, and I'm probably not going to be able to get to them, so I'd ask that you both take these for the record. And this is to you, Admiral Gilday, and to you, Mr. Secretary. And they relate to um, uh, World War II munitions and explosives of concern, unexploded ordinances that were um, uh, left near, near Unalaska at the end of the Aleutians there. We're, there have been several areas identified where these hazards can be. It's been concluded that risks to public safety are present in many of these areas. Um, it is, it's a concern amongst the people in, in the region, most notably. Now we're told that Navy says it does not plan to conduct another survey until 2027, until more advanced underwater search technology is developed. Um, I want you to be aware of this because I'm going to uh, uh, include language in the, um, in the uh, Defense Appropriations Bill to conduct a more thorough survey in 2024. I think the people there deserve it. Um, and it's an, in addition to the unexploded ordinances, I'm also going to inquire about the, the chemical weapons, the mustard agent, the lewisite uh, that was deposited um, off of Attu, and, and again, the survey of that chemical weapons dump site. So just put that on your horizon. If you can get back to me earlier than that, um, it might obviate the need for, for language. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.